Welcome to A Recipe Reborn, featuring your favorite foods from Final Fantasy XIV. Hello, my name is Lemon Drop, and I recreate dishes by combining real-life culinary inspiration with the in-game recipe, description, and thumbnail. If you're into XIV and food, please subscribe and click the bell for a new episode every Tuesday. Today I am making buttons in a blanket, also known as mushroom-filled cabbage rolls. I was inspired to make this recipe because just yesterday we had our first major snowfall of the season, and this kind of weather makes me want to eat warm and cozy food. Let's have a look at the game info. There aren't any surprise ingredients in the thumbnail. The description doesn't give us any hints about where this recipe came from or who might have made it, but we can guess based on the ingredients, most of which are from Thanalan, including the garlic and the onion in the tomato sauce. I wonder if the cabbage came to Thanalan from the North Shroud via Alamegan refugees. And maybe tomatoes came from Lenosha by trade, or perhaps migratory birds. If you have any theories, let me know in the comments. I'm starting with the tomato sauce because I want to give the ingredients some time to really integrate. The description says it's tangy, so I'm adding a little lemon zest to support the tomato flavor so it will say nice, bright, and zingy. It also says the sauce is a soup, so I'm adding vegetable broth which is packed with onion flavor. Next on my list is saffron, which I need to crush, but sadly I don't have a mortar and pestle, so please no bully. I'm letting it steep in hot water while I prepare the cabbage. This is probably the most fiddly part of the recipe. There are a few ways to loosen the leaves, such as freezing and thawing or microwaving, but just straight up boiling it is the fastest. The cabbage may need to be boiled again the more leaves you take off. I'm removing the part of the cabbage spine that sticks out so the leaves are a little easier to fold. Now I'm working on the filling. I'm cooking the mushrooms separately because I want the liquid to evaporate and I can't do that if my pan is too crowded. I shredded most of these ingredients in a food processor, but a grater and a knife would work fine too. I added a few ingredients based on my preference, but really you can put anything you like in here. I like a bit of texture and color variation, so I'm adding carrots, celery, green peppers, and parsley on top of what's listed in game. I'm also adding cooked rice because I feel like that's the standard starch to add in cabbage rolls, but if you want to try something different, I recommend lentils. Everything goes in a bowl to combine, and I'm seasoning with salt, pepper, and the saffron tea. Now I am ready to roll and I'm using a quarter cup measure to portion my filling. How much you need depends on the size of your leaves, but generally I'm aiming for an egg size amount. Roll the leaf up over the filling, then fold the sides toward the middle, and continue rolling up. This is basically the same as rolling a burrito. Once rolled, they go in a baking dish with a little bit of the tomato sauce I made earlier. A little more sauce goes on top before baking them for about an hour. You can see I made 8 rolls, but my recipe yields 16, and I made the other half off camera. I figure if I'm going to go through the trouble of doing this, I want a big batch, but if it's too many for you, you can always cut the recipe in half. The cabbage leaves came out sweet and tender, and the filling has an intense earthy mushroom flavor that balances really well with the saffron and tangy tomato sauce. If you're short on time, you can always make the sauce and filling two days ahead, roll and bake them one day ahead, and then reheat them for a potluck or dinner party. For the full recipe and instructions, please check out the link to my website in the description below. I wish everyone good luck in the Epic of Alexander, I'm excited to see you Prague, and I will see you next week for another recipe and another episode.